As the population of the world's cities increase, they're confronted by a host of challenges, including job creation, environmental sustainability, public services, economic growth, and social resilience. Thanks to the rapid pace of technology development, our cities can leverage information and data to help address these challenges. But first, city leadership must understand how the components of the IoT, people, process, data, and things, play specific roles and work together. As these digital systems become increasingly complex, the need for an open, vendor-neutral standards platform for communicating spatial and temporal data is crucial. The Future Cities pilot demonstrates these capabilities in a series of holistic urban planning scenarios set in Europe, illustrating the benefits of interoperability and open standards. As climate change creates higher sea levels, how can cities address the ever-increasing threat of urban flooding? To facilitate advanced knowledge of flood risks and hazard exposure, flood maps are transformed into city GML format. This project set and implemented interoperability standards for flood inundation predictions and mapping, allowing the city to employ an advanced form of urban resilience. How can smart cities support better adult social care? The Future Cities pilot project and the tools that it's creating allows dynamic data and static built environment data to work together and be interoperable. The rich geospatial data that you get from BIM projects and the citywide scale data working together allows city leaders and cities to make decisions and for their people and to create outcomes for their people that they previously couldn't do. Using open, interoperable geospatial standards such as CityGML and IFC, city authorities are able to share and combine traditional and dynamic data, encouraging better decision-making. Integrating adult social care data with dynamic sensor data, such as humidity and temperature readings captured from within a house, can lead to more informed decisions that match human needs to the right resources. This could mean that first responders can improve access and treatment for emergency visits, or a local authority can determine more suitable accommodation or maintenance regimes. How can urban planners make better, faster decisions about land development in our cities? By integrating standards from two industries, land development and geospatial, this advance bridges the gap between the 3D data standards of these two industries. By developing methods that convert a detailed 3D model of a proposed building, to a simplified 3D model for checking against urban planning rules and regulations. Les données 3D et GIS-BIM permettent d'automatiser une partie du processus d'instruction du permis de construire, notamment sur les cas les plus simples et les plus fréquents. On a ainsi une réduction des coûts et des délais, ce qui est un véritable bénéfice pour la ville et pour le citoyen. À moyen terme, cette maquette 3D GIS-BIM est un véritable outil d'aide à la décision pour la planification urbaine. How can we help these advances work better, enriching models and paving the way for real-time results? The Dynamizer is an application domain extension for CityGML. It allows existing 3D models issued by the OGC to be exchanged and used in different scenarios. For example, it can be used to enrich a 3D city model with solar potential analysis results, generating solar irradiation values for the building surfaces for each month of the year. It's possible to integrate a variety of dynamic data and real-time sensor data with semantic 3D city models, from physical qualities like energy demand to spatial properties, such as a change in a feature's geometry to real-time data from weather stations. Geospatial data, civil engineering, and BIM can all work together in the urban environment allowing us to live in societies that are built on better, more relevant information. Understanding where we stand in the evolution of spatial data infrastructures is critical to future city planning processes. The lessons and framework from these pilots can provide other cities with a pattern language for progressing strategies and for developing their own city initiatives.